Hello guys, welcome back. I am doing another tutorial because I'm going to the theater. First things first, I am using my Becca primer. I totally love this stuff. It is ultra matte, ultra fun. It is awesome. I want to make sure that my foundation doesn't budge at all today and I want to make sure that it isn't, isn't oily and any of that junk. So I'm using my super heavy duty primer. It's super awesome. This stuff is matte. I love it. It is amazing. Seriously, go try it out. Gotta make sure I look bad. Alright, next step, Born This Way Foundation. And I'm applying that using a beauty blender. This foundation is amazing. Like I said, I'm going out. I'm going to be out all evening, so I want to make sure my foundation's a little bit, you know, full coverage, a little bit more heavy duty. I use my unique one on a daily basis, however this one is great for a little bit more fuller coverage and it lasts a little bit longer when I'm like out running, running around and all hustling and bustling in downtown. I totally love it because it matches so well to my skin and I feel like I get such great coverage. It feels great, it looks great, and it works. So, again, born this way from Too Faced. It's amazing. It feels great. I totally love it. Just gotta blend that up. You know, the part that takes five ever to do, y'all. Five ever to do. Hey, that's contour. Taking the lightest two shades of yellow. I'm applying that underneath my eyes to prevent my foundation from creasing, also to just, you know, give my eyes a little bit more zing, a little bit more pop, and down my nose. Oi! Let's contour. I'm using the lightest two brown shades. I got a little too much on the brush that time. Chiseled. Chiseled like a Greek goddess. Look at that. And I'm only going halfway down my cheek because it just looks a little bit better, a little bit more natural on me. Ooh. Again, using those two lightest colors, just kind of creating a little bit more definition, a little bit more crease. Champagne glow time. Hey, I, I, I lost my brush. Oops. Give me a second. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I can't All right, champagne glow, Sigma brush. I lied. First, I am using blushed copper, and I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush. Seriously, y'all, you need to get this, cause it's a bomb diggity yo. Just cheese it up. If you don't know where the apples of your cheeks are, ladies, just smile. Or gentlemen, either way. If you don't know where the apples of your cheeks are, smile. You'll find them. Alright, time for some champagne pop. Using my favorite highlighting brush. And apply that on the tops of my cheekbones. Yeah. And then using pearl, which is a beautiful color, to just highlight the very, very tops of those cheekbones. Boom. Glowing. <gasps> my Tyra stick. Love this. I did a review. You should go check it out. It's super natural looking, which is why I'm using it on my nose and above my upper lip. It's eye primer time. Using Urban Decay Rhymer Potion, just original. I am going to put that all over my eye, all the way up to my eyebrows. Stunning, right? I look beautiful. Ugh, yes. Work it, girl. Prime those eyes. Boom! Uh, time to get my eyebrows on fleek. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and brush, I am going to draw my eyebrows on. Well, not really draw them on. I'm going to fill them in, make them look a little painted on, because that's how I like it. I like my eyebrows to be painted on. And if you do too, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You are fabulous. Fabulous. Boom! Next eyebrow. I like to outline my eyebrows top and bottom and then fill everything in like so and if I get a little too much product in one area I'm going to smoothly put that across to make them look a little bit more natural yeah smoothly that is natural right two faced instant brother brother tooth brow attitude mm -hmm. it's a highlight stick underneath my eyes blending that with my finger yes God gave us these wonderful digits to you some good tools at your fingers, y'all. Use them. Right. It's eyeshadow time. Using my Too Faced. This is Shaggy. 
and it's from the uh, Grand Chateau palette kit thing. And it's a really pretty silvery gray, so you can use any silver gray. This is just one that I have on hand, and I really like it. So, I'm applying that all over my lid. Next, using a tapered blending brush from Luxie, I am using the color Noir, which is kind of a silvery brown. And I'm applying that on the outer corner of my eye, and I'm sweeping it across the crease. Create a little bit of dimension. Makes a good transition color. Next, to sweet. It's a nice brown. And I'm applying that just on the outer corner, using the same brush because no big deal, don't need to wipe it off. The color is very similar, and this one's a little bit darker. So, I am just going to apply that on the outer corner. You look beautiful. It's pencil brush time. Using Moi and Cherie, I'm going to apply that. Uh, you can't see my face at all. Awesome. Good job, Serena. There you go. I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. And it's just a combination of both of those colors because that's just how I roll. Using my champagne glow, using pearl, and maybe just a small little brush from Morphe underneath. Gonna highlight, gonna blend that in with the color so it doesn't look blocky, and it kind of just smooths out. Also in the inner corner of my eye, because you know, I like that pop. Using my ink liner from Kat Von D in the color Trooper, I'm creating a beautiful and fabulous wing. And again, you know, my eyeliner tutorials suck. I am the worst at trying to give advice for that. But the biggest advice I can say is trust your strokes. Just poof, swoop that across your eye. Damn. Next step, I am using Lip Sense today. I will be doing a full review on that. I pinky pinky promise next week. I should have done this for this week, but I got a little sidetracked and I wanted to try that other stuff. But I will be explaining the whole process of this. It seems a little complicated. Not, it just doesn't seem complicated. It just looks weird. But I will be explaining everything to do with that in next week's makeup review video. So don't worry. This stuff is seriously phenomenal. It is worth every penny. I have three different colors. I love them. I wear them all the time. They are beautiful and fabulous. And you just really need to put your hands on this, yo. They do not budge. I love it. Love, love, love this stuff. Let all the dry. Okay, using their matte stuff, I'm gonna apply that. This thing, it looks matte, but it doesn't feel matte. It's super moisturizing. High fives, lip sense, and we're done. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. It's just kind of a quick video tutorial thing um, because I am going to the theater and I'm gonna dress up, sort of. I'm looking nice, I'm not dressing up. But um, I just wanted to do a quick little video. And this was a super easy and super fun look for me. I did it last week as just kind of like a meh, this is this works. And I really liked it and I got a lot of compliments. So I want to do a video on it. But if you like this video, be sure to like and comment. If you want to see more videos like this and all of my past ones, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.